everyone and welcome to Faith First Designs. I'm Faith and today I wanted to show you guys my reusable fold uh, covers. They are really really handy if you're tired of getting saran wrap and having to throw everything away all the time. These are a really great option. Uh, they have food safe fabric on the inside and then you can just get a super print, cute print for the outside. I am getting ready for Christmas, so, so I found some Christmas fabric, and we're going to be making all kinds of Christmas presents with them. Um, so make sure that you grab some food safe fabric. I'll try and find a link and post it down below, but uh, we'll get into the directions and all of that in just a second. Let's get started. All right, the first thing you're going to need is your food safe fabric and the bowl you plan on covering or, or making a cover for. And what you're going to do, if you have a little easy... Uh, ruler slider thing like this you can use it to measure but you're going to measure an inch all the way around to make your circle and so you'll do that to um, it doesn't matter what size your bowl is you're going to need that inch so that you can do the elastic and turn it sew everything turn it inside out And then you'll just go all the way around. And then what I normally do is I cut this out and then I use it as my template on my fabric. It just makes everything go faster if you, you don't have to do this twice. I just take this and then lay it, I cut it out and I lay it on top of my fabric. And that way I already have my circle. Now you can do this to whatever size bowls you've got. Just make sure that you leave that inch all the way around. That's about right. Okay. So hopefully you can see that when you pick it up, you've got your line to cut all the way around. All right, so grab your fabric that you have that you want to use. And I have to tell you guys about this fabric. I was looking for it online literally everywhere and could not find it anywhere or people had bought it from Joann's and then just hiked the price up like crazy. This wonderful woman from one of my quilting sites saw that I was looking for it and went to her local store and bought this and mailed it to me. And it was amazing and I cannot wait to have these little Christmas gifts made out of it. And you guys stay tuned. There is an advent calendar coming with this print and I cannot wait to do it and show you guys. So what I normally do is I'll grab the food safe fabric and I'm going to use this as my template. And what I would do, just so that it doesn't move around, is grab a couple of your fabric little weights and that way the fabric's not moving around. So I'm just going to cut around this one just using the food safe fabric as a template. cute little Yoda is going to be so awesome for Christmas, but you guys can't even imagine how much I'm looking forward to having Christmas now. So I'm going to have a matching large bowl and a smaller bowl. So that one's done. Now I'm going to take my smaller piece Grab my fabric weight so that stuff doesn't go anywhere. And then you're just going to do the same thing. Cut right around the edges. Now you've got both of your pieces. And what we're going to do is you can get some clips and make sure that you've got the right side of the fa fabric facing you. Okay. And then the shiny, real slick side of your food safe fabric is going to go right side facing your fashion fabric or, or your fabric. And then what you're going to do is clip all the way around and th then leave about a two inch, inch and a half, somewhere around there opening. So now we're just going to sew a quarter of an inch. When you start, make sure that you backstitch because we're going to have to turn this inside out. But 
but you should see that you've got a hole right here that you can turn it inside out. So once you're done sewing right sides together, you're going to turn it inside out, and then you're going to make sure that all the edges are as far out as they can be. And then you're going to pick a spot, I would do about a half an inch um, sewing from the edge. And what that's going to do is that's going to give you a channel to put your elastic in so that you can have it um, nice and taut towards your bowl. Just try and make sure that you're consistent with where you're sewing so that it looks right. Now I've come back to the beginning part and you're not going to sew this closed yet. Leave it open, but I've got it clipped so that it's not going anywhere. And I may have to move these for just a minute. You're going to have to have that open so you can get the elastic in. Cut all of your strings. And then we're going to go towards your bowl and find out what the measurement of our elastic needs to so be. So now you're going to want to grab your bowl again and then if you've got a tape measure of some kind and you're going to want to measure around the lip of your bowl or where, where it's going to kind of lay with the elastic. And this is going to be the length that your elastic is going to be. So I've got mine all the way around there. It's about 28 and a half. Just make sure it makes it all the way around. And let's go get some elastic. Now that I've got my elastic cut, I've got a safety pin on one end of it. I just kind of weave it in and out. Hopefully that you can see that, but I just weave it in and out. And then what you're going to do in the opening is you're just going to slide it all the way through. and all the way around. And again, you can straighten all this up after you tie off the end so that you don't end up losing something. <clears throat> what you're going to do, make sure, ooh, there you go. You got enough elastic to work with. Now you can, um, Put these on top of each other. If you're using a thicker elastic, you could just sew zigzag stitch and make sure that they don't go anywhere. Um, this is like a 1 8 inch, so it's really tiny. So what I'm going to do is I've just decided to make... And then what you're going to do is you're going to close this end up. You just put it down upon itself like that and then just stitch right along there. Once you're done putting in the elastic just make sure that you close up your ending part and then you've got your little reusable bowl wraps. These are really nice and would make some really great Christmas presents if you've got people that are into reusable items um, and you can make them an arrangement of sizes. Now one thing I will say is that if you want them to come down a little bit lower um, on the bowl, you could always do instead of an inch wide uh, rim, you can always do like an inch and a half to two inches, just depending upon how far you wanted it to come down. Um, what I would do is just take out your bowls and figure out which ones you're going to want covers for, and then just measure from those, because they're not really one size fits all, but they kind of are. If I had a bowl that was a little bit smaller than this one, it would probably fit but it wouldn't be as snug. Um, something else I noticed was the elastic. Make sure that when you're measuring uh, all the way around your lip of your bowl that you make sure that you take out 10 inches because you're going to have, if you put 28 inches, it's not going to be snug to your bowl. So take out 10 inches of your elastic and that way it's nice and snug and it's not going anywhere. Um, so if you like that video, you can give it a thumbs up. Or if you want to stick around for more of our Use, Wash, Reuse series, we would love to have you. Just hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, you can just leave them down below, and I'll get to those as soon as I can. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and thank you again for watching FaithWorks Design.